all you channel mammals. Hi! Guess what? You're gonna help me make a onion, potato, and apple tart tonight for dinner. And these, I just got these, I don't know what they are, they're just big weeds. And um, for the table, this is the closest thing we had to flowers around here. So for now, they're fine. <laughs> Come on in. So here are the onions, aren't they adorable? Little tiny red onions and tiny little potatoes. And these are our eggs from our chickens and apples. And this is um, ricotta cheese, but I'm also gonna have some other cheese as well. I don't wanna ruin these too much. I love to leave the little tops on them if I can. Let's see what happens. Because I thought it'd be so pretty to see them. It's really hard to peel them if you don't. See, I think it'd be funny if we could have those little tops. Once they're cooked, they'll be delicious. Somebody once told me, anything that comes out of the ground can be eaten. Isn't that great? So we don't have to worry about what we cut off and what we don't. It's all gonna be delicious. Ooh, it's really... You know, have you ever put a match in your teeth? It's supposed to help. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's an old wives' tale or whether it's the truth. But supposedly, if you <laughs> if you put a match in your teeth, it's supposed to um, make your eyes not cry. I don't know why. Oh, this is the last one. I'm so excited. Huh. This is one of those videos that should say four hours later. <laughs> this reminds me of when I was a girl um, and we lived in California before the rest of the world, or at least America, knew what an artichoke was. Um, we would always have artichokes in the, in, in the season uh, for Sunday dinner and as well as other things. And my uncle, every single time, every Sunday, said the same thing. This is the only meal that there's more when you finish than when you start. <laughs> That's what I feel like with these little onions. <laughs> it looks like there's more in the bowl <laughs> than what we started with. <laughs> I love this cooker because doesn't it look like a little garden of flowers? It's so cute. So we'll melt the butter. This is the salt that we're gonna use. And I found this salt. It's that pink salt. See, it's not white. And I looked it up to see what makes it pink. And it says dirt. It has dirt in it. So I call this dirty salt. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So that's what they said in Wikipedia or wherever it was that I looked it up. So I'm putting some dirty salt in. My pepper grinder has lost its grinding power, so I have to use regular pepper. Ginger. Whenever our ginger gets too dried out, I just, oh, it smells so divine. I just grind it up and cook with it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. I did try to look up some recipes, but they were all so different. It just didn't make a lot of sense. Our chicken eggs are delicious. Mm, that looks delicious, doesn't it? I, you know, I think I'm going to put the cheese. I'm 
idea what it's going to taste like. Unfortunately, you'll never know. I don't want to put the cheese on the top because it'll cover up the design, but I think, I think it'd be prettier to have the onions just, and the potatoes just, and the apples just sitting on top. I'm not sure what it'll cook like. We'll see. This is a very sharp New York cheddar, which is a bit hard. Harder than Vermont cheddar. It's going to be strange. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. Doesn't that look sweet? Speaking of sweet, I think it needs a touch of sugar and maybe even some cinnamon and some nutmeg. I never saw an onion tart that looked like this. This is an onion tart that looks like an, like an apple pie. <laughs> like an apple pie. I don't know why. <laughs> I just thought it would be good. Onions and apples together. Mm. I have an extra apple core here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some of them are a little bit too cooked, but it doesn't matter. They'll still hold up. Okay, now potatoes. Shall I, I eat one? Mm. Mm. It's really good. I'm glad I put ginger. I'm really glad. Mm. Isn't it pretty? I think it looks great. We'll see what happens. This is Whitika. <laughs> she's our granddaughter and she's going to help us put our flowers up on display on our table. Here we go. See, this one I have to cut off the stalk. That was the first one that I tried. But just stuff them up in there, and we can fill this with them, and it'll be like a beautiful green canopy. I think it'll be great. The wind will just carry them away at the end of the evening. That's when we'll know it's time to go to bed. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited to see what's happening in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it is so beautiful. I love the way it looks. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, wow. It's so heavy. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Isn't it just beautiful? I love, I love how this crust ended up. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, it smells so exotic with ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh, I just think they're, it's amazing. I'm so glad you got to see this. So it's just a new invention, but that's what's so fun about just playing with um, ideas. These are our good friends from the Oyster Mansion down the road. And it, it's a beautiful old, what is it, a, a Italian-esque oyster mansion? It's uh, Stephen D. Barnes is the name of the landmark home. It's an Italian. Italian, yes. Oh, and so this is Biagio here. And Biagio is the, the, um, the keeper of the house. He is the, the one who makes sure everything is perfect. <laughs> he runs the joint. <laughs> and then over here we have Jersey and Tomas. <laughs> and then Mitika, our granddaughter, featured oh. at the end. <laughs> Did she? And Suki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks 
divine. Uh, Thank you so much. Oh, you're Tell welcome. Victoria. Wow. Oh, gosh, you guys. You've outdone we yourself. We should do this every week, don't okay. you think? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> really? I could find, I could find little vegetables. Cute little veggies. Sure. I think I'm just going to make cake. Like cute pieces. Wow. Wow. To doll. <laughs> Who's next? The dog. <laughs> Let's see, I think this one. Oh,